Oh well, we just got here, we're at a new hole. Been here for maybe nearly the best part of an hour, just been flushing out this hole with a couple of little finds and here is our first stoneware in the wall. So voila, now I've got a few pipes, did come across some blue glass but could have just been a glass. Funky little bottles. Bigfoot digger just found something here. Is that a medallion? I think it's got King George on it. Oh aye. You guys see that? Yeah, it has something on it like. Yeah, it's King George. I can tell by the way his ear is at the aye. side of that dark patch. Excellent. Bring you back on the next find. Well guys, you can see I've really widened the hole up now, hauled it out on the inside. The floor went down about two feet, we've now raised that up two feet more. Caving in all the insides around, making the actual rim of the hole wider as well. We've pulled out a few bland little bottles, we've got some here, Florida, water, Murray Landman, Druggists New York. We've got Pond's Extract, we've got Jay's Fluid, Link Wells, a couple of Stone Wells. So we're doing alright, we still did get a little fancy glass jar with some step fridges on this bit here. Um, this one here said Sample Hairline, Hairline for the hair. Sample bottle. Uh, we did get a couple of the real small ones. A couple of logos on them, but broken. Lots of pipes. We did get full pipe. No picture on it. Another good stuff. Midges are eating meat today for once. And we have found the big Kepler ball. We've actually done that bad, I've been sitting thinking we've not been doing good at all because digging down a foot, caving it back in a foot, it's taken another hour to dig down a whole foot so it feels like I'm not scoring too much but yeah I'm hitting stuff. There's a tub with a rusted screw on cap. Yeah, a couple of the bland bottles but yeah I've got some stoneware. I'm just caving it in just now, next time it'll be ten times easier to dig down, three times the depth. But that's it for me. I'm getting really itchy with the midges. I need to go and get something to eat. Bye for now. Right, so as you can see, we've opened the hole up lengthways and depthways, and it goes way under there. See it? Way down under the ground. So we are just hitting the level where the finds are at. Bigfoot diggers over here. Excavating down um, that part. Now, poor Andrew was digging his heart out all morning from a hole that looked like it had been backfilled in. And Treasure Hunt Scotland pulls a ginger beer. Oh, yes. Yes, and I pulled a cracking blue bottle, lovely blue bottle, nice and round, no writing, no nothing. Get this and then this oh, one yeah. comes out, look at that. Oh, my ginger beer. It's ribbed, it's a big nut to be taken and yeah they're usually a lot smaller than that. So that's a cracking size one there. Ginger beer. Lovely jubbly. Pulling some stoneware, some bottles. It's just like we're only really just getting to the level now of where we need to be. Because we do keep backfilling holes in for safety but there's some mysterious donkey jumping about, backfilling holes in all the time, right up to the surface. Giving us a bit of an hour's worth of work before we can get back to where we were. A couple of big excavated holes waiting to be dug. I suppose we're going to have a look at what we have. So far we've got a nest of little bland bottles, we've even pulled a fancy pipe. I love you man! 
lots of vines on it, beautiful. I like drawing stuff like that, so to me, that is as cool as they come. Now we did get, it's a typical Gartens HP, little two ounce Bovril, and this one here, lovely blue color to go into the collection. So that's it for just now. And I'll get back to you because we are at a level the finds are coming out, so see you when we get some more. Right, Horde Hunters, we have a couple of excavations to make. Let's hope they are whole. First one, big stoneware, and it's complete. Second one is down here. Ooh! better than it looked in the hole probably a Jay's fluid but no it's a Allen Hanbury's yeah castor oil bottle no no markings other than Allen Hanbury's so we got that and a big stoneware complete excellent now we shall go down here and excavate a few human legs You can see the big leg bone Somebody's mother-in-law Right, on to the next So Bigfoot Digger's pulling out a cracking, cracking pot Check this stuff I don't know if this is coming up the camera but it's got a glitter effect This is like Victorian stuff, what are they doing with glitter? Now we did get a strange big square bottle that says William Hay Fairman and Company, Glasgow. We did get a lovely Kepler, different size than what we've got already, so well happy at that. We got a uh, Allen Hanbury's, I think it was castor oil in the stoneware. So we shall knit some of these into the bag for the snow and see what else we can produce the hole is getting way deep I'm going to take you down for a look <coughs> yeah as you can see very deep very shady and we need to watch for overhangs dropping in, so we we'll have to start digging some away from the side. I'll see you soon, guys. As soon as we can produce some finds in the wall, maybe take you back to excavate them. Now, guys, I moved from the other hole we had over to this one that needed mucked out. Now, we've mucked out and been digging for ages and really found next to nothing. We've got plenty of these little things, little bland bottles. This little thing was cool. I like that, the colour of it and the shape of it. The rest were just all little bland blank bottles. We did give up on the other hole. But just a second ago, this came out. Absolute beauty. And it says the fresh cream. I don't, can't make out the bottom part. But it says Stranraer, so I'll give this a wipe down for you. There we go. Nice. Bit faded, but cool. Right, on to the next, guys. I would have made a good comeback. Look at the size of this. This is Treasure Hunt in Scotland's one. As you can see, nearly half the size of my arm. It is huge. Look at that! That's a monster, look! Mm -hmm. Oh, why? You know what I was just gonna... Hey guys, just so you get the scale of what this hole is like over here. And remember, I dug a hole over the back, which Bigfoot Digger's just gonna go down to. Now we're at a level where we think we can puncture through each another. It's just easier so we can pass messages back and forward. Roll it up in a little note and slip it through. I'll smash it. Now we're going to tunnel through them. So here we go. Oh! <laughs> oh yeah!
That is officially cave through. Oh yeah. Hello. Hello neighbor. Excellent. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh look at that! Is that another pen rest ink? Yeah, it is another pen rest ink well. Oh, well we caved through. Lovely job. As you can see up here there'll be a little space. Hey over here. Hey here. Excellent Jeffrey. Very nice, very nice. Ben. Oh, ben stand ink well. Oh well we've tunnelled through. Now we've got to wait for the chocolate biscuits to get by without anybody noticing. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Poor man. You guys, as you can see, we're caving in our holes before we go, refilling them all back in. It's going to take a bit of time, maybe an hour or two, but we'll have it done. Anyway, catch up with you soon, guys. Well, well, well. It's roundup time again. I'll run through some of the more generic ones first, which is Garton's HP Sauce with a different style writing. Okay. But quite a few generics, just picked them up anyway. I've got some Camp Coffee and Shikori. This one's Parsons of Glasgow. So, one of the better balls. Uh, we've got a W. Murphy. Tabu boot dressing, more generic. We've got a shield hall, essence of coffee and shikori, SCWS. And this, I forgot about this last time. This one says Vino's cough, eh, lightning cough cure. Looks like it's still in there. Yeah, I just don't want to tip it out. To me, it just looks pure cool. So, keeping that. Now we did get a Yorkshire good old black house relish bottle. This one here, it's a nice aqua colour. Camera's not doing it much justice, but Florida Water, Murray and Landman, druggists in New York. Now we got a couple of broken ones. We got this one here, it was a Finlay McDermott, and we'll turn this into a glass. And also we got a miniature cod, broken, which is a replica of the other glass I made that was a Hunter and Benny. So this will be basically a Blake's glass when it's made. Just a smaller version of my own. Hey, we got some stoneware pots. A couple of different sizes. We also got some of the bigger pots. So that's good. Love the pots. Uh, we got a it's a generic kind of Jay's fluid. It's in a brown bottle. We also got an Allen Hanbury's, probably cod liver oil. Still got stuff inside it. Funky. Now we got Lots of little ink wells. We've got some of the chamfered corners on them. We got. Don't know if this is one, but it looks like one. It's got lots of step design on it. And this one here, again, the light's not doing it much justice. It's a wicked aqua colour. Yeah, funky. We've got two slightly different yet similar. Pen rest ink wells, pen bridge ink wells. Got lots of stoppers, I've not got them all here, but lots of the different styles of these ones and plenty of them. Here we've got a couple of little ink pots and a bovril. Now we got this big thing. 
which isn't too fancy, but it says William Hay, Fairman and Company, Glasgow. Lots of little stretch creases around the bottle, it's cool. Kept that, not got one of them. Now we've got a nice Kepler that I thought we didn't have this size, but turns out we do. It's just a slightly different design. This one's got a rounded lip on it and this one's got a thick flat lip, so two different pots and this one has the big ball. So my Kepler will be up here, up on my shelf. And we got a lovely cobalt blue, no writing on it whatsoever. Sealed right up the centre on both sides. It does have numbers on the bottom. Uh, it looked to be 100%, 103, or 100 ounce, 103. And a lovely little cream pot, which is pure fresh cream. And it's from Strunrar. Wicked, wicked pot. Nice little size. But the star of the show goes to this big beauty here. And it's Andrew Black Dumbarton. The big trademark in the middle. A and B logo stamped into the glass. Beautiful bottle. Still has its stopper. Fully functional. And good for the collection. This one here does have some kind of, looks like a rippled chip, but smooth, there's no sharp edges on it, so I don't know what's happened there. And until we get another one to replace this one, this one's nice and clear, so we'll be keeping that. That to me is the best find, as well as this. The blue one didn't float my boat that much because there was no embossed writing on it, but still. It's good to see that coming out. Yeah, cream pot and the big embossed bottle. Excellent. Should check the other guy's videos out. Bigfoot Digger pulled out a stonker of a pot. And Mark as well, Treasure Hunt in Scotland. Wow. He pulled out an even bigger one. So look forward to that. I know he's, Mark's got his video up and Bigfoot Digger will get his up. So really look forward to that. Wicked, wicked jug pots. I think Mark's was a cider jug, and I'm not sure if Bigfoot Diggers was the same. His was more of a flagging. But yeah, you should check him out. Absolutely wicked. Anyway, guys, I'll go for now. This has been a long roundup. I'll get turning these into glasses, and hopefully they turn out. I'll maybe show you them in the next video. Now, we should have a beach metal detecting slash bottle digging adventure tomorrow or Sunday so video should be up Sunday or Monday and I'll see you then thanks a lot guys bye for now